everybody, let's give this problem a try. So let me just label the I'll see, pin A roller B. Okay, so let's so for the reactions at those supports. So I'll decompose the reaction at pin A, and then there's a roller at B. Okay, and then there's a 50 pound load here and another one over here. Okay, let's go for these reactions. X direction, AX, zero. Y direction, AY, BY, minus those two 100 pounds. All right, let's sum torque about wherever we want. How about over here? Okay, so here to here is six. Oh, that's negative six times 50 pounds. And then here to here is 18. And then 50 pounds. And then here to here is 24. times by. Okay, so let's see. Ax is zero. By is, let's see, we can factor 50. So then that's 24. So then, so by is 50. And then Ay is 100 minus by, which is 50. Okay. All right. So then it looks like 50 pounds over here and 50 pounds over here are the reactions and then there are the loads over here. Okay, now let's solve for the shear and bending moment, but using the calculus version of the relationship. And how about I kind of talk it through just so you get a feel for the concept and then I'll do the math afterwards. Okay, so for the shear, imagine you're going from left to right, from left to right, cutting the beam like this, from left to right. So when we're cutting the beam from left to right, it's we're cutting it like this, cutting it here, which exposes axial force, shear, bending moment. Okay, so that means up, uh, for shear, up is positive. So from left to right, cutting, there's nothing over here, right? So definitely the shear is zero. But then suddenly we encounter this positive, right? Positive, positive 50, positive 50, like this. Okay, now the relationship dv dx equals minus w. What's the loading curve from here to here? Zero. There is no, there is no distributed load. So it is zero. Which means, right, when you see this, dv dx is zero, is the same thing as saying v is constant. So if it was 50 over here, it remains 50 the whole way between uh, zero and six inches. But then over here, suddenly we encounter this in the negative direction, right? Again, this is positive. So that's negative. So negative 50 like that, right? Here to here is 50. So it's back down to zero. And then what's the loading curve over here? Zero. So again, the shear is constant constantly zero. And then suddenly we encounter this in the negative direction, so like this. And then the loading curve from here to here is zero, so it's constant. And then we encounter this, positive. And then over here, there's nothing. Okay, so this is shear. Okay, uh, and then it was negative 50 over here. Okay, now bending moment. 
So the relationship is now dm dx equals v. Okay, so in other words, the slope of whatever this is, is this. So if you work your way backwards, whatever the curve is over here has a slope of positive 50. And then if we look, there's no couples or anything acting. So that means the bending moment was zero over here. And then suddenly the shear is 50. So the slope of this curve is positive 50, like this. Okay. Now what is over here? The shear is zero. So you see this equation? This becomes zero. Zero between here and here. And this is the same as saying the bending moment is constant. So it's constant from here to here. Okay, then from here to here, now the slope is going to be negative 50. Right, so like this, negative 50. Because this is negative 50, so the slope of this is negative 50. And then over here it's zero again, which means constant. So there you go. That's kind of the concept of how you walk it through. Okay, so for the math, uh, maybe this part is straightforward, but for the bending moment, maybe let's do that more carefully. So the bending moment, what were the numbers? Okay, between 0 and 6. The bending moment, dm dx equals v. v was 50. Okay, so let's solve for m. Let's move dx over here integrate both sides, from x equals 0 to some other x between 0 and 6. And this is m at x equal to 0 to some other m of x. So this is m minus m at 0 equals 50x from 0 to x, which is 50x. And again, this is 0. Okay, so this is the function, 50x. from here to here. Okay, and then what about between 6 and 18? dm dx equals v, but look, v was 0. So maybe that's straightforward, right? It's constant. Constant? Oh, what is the value here? Let's calculate that. At x equal to 6, that's going to be 300. Okay, uh, inch pounds. Okay, now what about x between eight, uh, 18 and 24? So x between 18 and 24. All right. Now the shear is negative 50, right over here, negative 50 negative 50. So let's solve for m. Let's move dx over here. Integrate both sides. From x equal 18 to some other x between 18 and 24. This is m at x equal to 18, so some other m. Okay, so then it looks like this. And this value was 300. Minus minus 50x from 18 to x. So let me just substitute that in there. And here we go, that's the function. It's, uh, let me just write it down over here. Um, 300 minus that. You can simplify it, right? But just note that at x equal to 18, this whole thing becomes 0, so then it's 300, which is right here. And then at x equals 24, if you plug this in, 
right? Then that's six. 50 times six, 300. So then this becomes zero. So then at x equal to 24, it's zero. Okay. So straightforward application of just those two formulas, right? This one and this one, but just keep practicing. Right? Just keep practicing. Okay. Let me know if you have questions. See you in the next video.